Okay, everyone, so here we're gonna be painting the lanterns. I have them outside already. Um, I put a foam board so I won't stain the floor. Um, and we're just gonna be spray painting it. Like so. Así que lo vamos a estar pintando. Um, vamos a estar um, dándole el color negro a todas las lamparitas. Y entonces, um, una vez que terminemos, pues procedemos um, a dejarlas secar. Y cuando se sequen, entonces las decoramos y le terminamos de poner los últimos detalles. So we just have to wait until they dry it after the paint. And then after that, we're going to be decorating and adding the last details to the lanterns. Okay guys, so here I have already spray painted the lanterns. Um, like you see, the wood sticks are now black. Um, everything is covering the inside. Um, also, I did paint the top of the lantern. That's how it's gonna be looking. And we are just waiting for this to dry it up so we could decorate it. Ok, mi gente, so ya aquí hemos este, pintado las lámparas. Eh, como ven, los palitos del medio que eran de madera están pintados ya negros. Um, tienen que procurar um, voltear la lámpara para que pinten ambos lados, la parte de arriba, la parte de abajo, para que puedan coger um, los palitos completamente, um, uniformemente, para que pinten toditos. Ahí están las tapitas de las lámparas eh, ya están pintadas estoy esperando que se seque para entonces poder decorarla um, guys one thing that I want to mention when you guys are painting the lanterns um, make sure that you flip them like right now I have them like this um, I already flipped them so we will have to flip them upside down again and spray paint them that way we make sure that um, the sticks and everything has a great cover of um, spray paint well, here are the lanterns already um, dried um, I'm going to start working on them, placing the bottom of the lantern and adding the decoration. I will be showing you guys step by step, like I said. Okay, so aquí ya tienen las lámparas secas, eh, ya están um, listas para ser decoradas. Les voy a estar poniendo la decoración, poniendo la parte de foam de abajo para que ustedes vean el paso a paso. Okay, so... Here I'm gonna go and add the bottom of the foam. Le vamos a estar agregando el bottom, en la parte de abajo del foam a la lámpara. Vamos a ponerle pega en las esquinas, en los bordes de los marcos. We're gonna be adding glue to the corners of the frames. So we just place it right there. So lo ponemos ahí. Más o menos. Lo centramos. You have to center it. Okay, so let's hold on the borders of it to make sure that it's holding with the glue now we have a bottom for our lantern like so now for the sides I'm going to be using this running stone that I got from Walmart I'm going to be grabbing a strip. It has already glue. So it's just a matter of grabbing it and placing it where you want it. Since it already comes with the glue.
Okay. So it's gonna be looking like this with the rhinestones. You see that it gives it a, like a glam look already. Thicken. Okay. So this is the look of the lantern with the corners and random stones, okay? Okay, um, everyone, so I have already put the bottom of the lantern and decorated the sides, the sides of both. Also, it has the bottom, the medium one. Now we're gonna be decorating the top part of the lantern. Um, for this, um, like I wanted, I wanted to show you guys, this is what I was talking, um, that I don't bother painting the bottom of it. So it looks like this, but when you lift it like this, it's completely black everywhere. And this is, um, the tape that we used. So it leaves you like a trim, but on top of that tape, we're going to be putting the silver ribbon. So, como les, les mencioné anteriormente, les quiero enseñar, eh, así es que va a quedar en la parte de abajo la, la tapa, si no la pintan, eh, así es que yo la dejo porque no se ve, eh, está cubierto por los lados, entonces, esta es la cinta adhesiva que usamos para poner los, los cristales juntos, se ve como un borde, entonces, en ese mismo, um, en esa misma cinta adhesiva le vamos a poner la cinta decorativa. Ok, so let's do this. Let me show you guys. I already pre-cut the the ribbon to the sizes. So it's just a matter of just placing the ribbon on top of what is going to be the lantern cover. Let's just add glue. For this, since I want um, the ribbon to be smooth and not lumpy, I'm gonna be using a popsicle stick and some gem tag glue. I got this for the gems and it's from Hobby Lobby. It's like um, a liquid glue. And it allows you to work with it. Um, esta pega es una pega líquida para los, las perlitas que conseguí en Hobby Lobby. Voy a estar usando esto para la cinta porque es más líquida. Entonces me ayuda a trabajar con la pega y regarla un poco con el palito de las paletas de mantecado. Para que entonces cuando lo pegue no quede con ningún con ninguna um, bolita o con algún trazo de pega caliente que a veces se hacen las líneas y se siente la textura por encima de la cinta. Entonces así, we're gonna smear it like this. Just make sure that all the ribbon has the glue spread. So it could glue pretty much. Okay, so. Now we just have to place it. Where we want it. The good thing about using this glue is that you could still move the ribbon a little bit once you place it. It allows you the opportunity to rearrange the ribbon without messing up the, the paint and the decoration of it. 
Lo bueno de esta pega es que te da oportunidad de, de mover la cinta y acomodarla. Eh, si por casualidad se equivoca. Sin que se seque tan rápido. Entonces te permite acomodar la cinta sin dañarle la pintura o la decoración que ya tienes en la lámpara. Es imposible no tener que más. So we're just going to grab it and place it. This is how it's looking so far. See, that ribbon gives a little, a little pop to the decoration, and it makes it look more beautiful. La cinta le da un un toque a la decoración y hace que se vea más bonita. Okay, vamos a hacerlo al otro lado. I'm just going to be finishing the sides. Repeating the same procedure. Jam tag glue. I like this glue because it's kind of tacky and it allows you to work with it. This is how the top looks so far with those corner. Already decor. Then the next thing that we're gonna be using is the rhinestone wrap. We're gonna be placing this all around the box like so. For this, I'm going to put hot glue because I want to work with it fast. We want to, we want to place this as close to the bottom as we can. Queremos ponerle la cinta lo más cerca de el la parte de abajo de la cajita um, que podamos. Eso va a estar tapando las imperfecciones. Um, this is going to make sure that um, all the faults from the gluing of the gift box and the glass are covered. Okay, so let's see. Just going to cut here.
So it's gonna be looking like this. So we have the ribbon covering the sides and the running stone wrap covering the bottom of the gift box. Here I have already added the um, running stone wrap completely. We're gonna be covering and decorating the bottom of the dessert tray. I'm gonna add the same beads that I use for the sides of the lantern. Since he has I am an adhesive on the back already, it's easier. And since this dessert bowl is round, it's more easier to work with it as well, to decorate it. Okay. And this is how it's looking so far. I'm just gonna add another um running stone wrap on the um, bottom of the cup. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be adding the running stone wrap cover. The, the trim of the chart glass as well. That way everything where we put the glue is covered and it's hard for you to tell where everything meets. Like so. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. You see how beautiful the top looks already. Okay, so next step, what, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna be adding the big running stone on every corner where the ribbon is meeting with the other ribbon, just to hide a little bit of imperfection. So we're gonna just place it right there where the ribbons are connected. Vamos a estar um, agregándole las perlitas grandes um, donde la cinta se conecta para tapar un poquito imperfecciones y para darle un poquito más de glam. Okay. Here we have the running stone. They are iridescent, iridescent and you can see like the sparkles of it. And that's how the top is gonna be looking. I hope you guys like it. Um, I just need to decorate the second one, the medium one, and we will be done with our project of the lanterns. Okay, everyone, so this is the final result of the lantern. Um, I just kept going along and put some running stone here. I did add more running stone here going down. I did like four strips of those going down around the, the servo. So it looks like a bell. And I also added um, more running stone on the top of the shower, um, I'm sorry, the shot glass cup, um, just to make everything look even and pretty. Um, this is the final result. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, that you guys find it useful. Um, I hope I explain everything 
good and i would like to see if you guys recreate this um just let me know i would like to see your creations as well to see what you did and what color do you um did it on Uh, mi gente, aquí estamos con el resultado final. Ya terminamos. Eh, dije que iba a parar um, anteriormente como las había hecho, pero quise agregarle un poquito más. Le agregué estas perlitas aquí en las esquinas, en cada esquina del cuadro. Más le agregué una línea bajando aquí. Hice eso cuatro veces alrededor del del bowl de, en, de postres. Y también le agregué rhinestones acá arriba, las perlitas arriba para que le diera ese toque final. Y así se ve. Um, eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer. Espero que les haya gustado. Espero que um, hagan su idea de las lamparitas. Y pues um, compartan el resultado. Se me cuidan. Take care, guys.